okay that's gold that's the weekly brexit came and went and brexit won and that's fantastic what is also fantastic is that my wave count worked exactly as i expected this one worked absolutely exactly as i predicted it despite the uh, variations that i'm showing you here if you remember we focused entirely on the price action here uh, given that this is the weekly that's all what you see i mean this is the past week we came down we registered the bottom of the second wave and we shot up uh, we shot up as far as i'm concerned we are now on the trajectory that in the next several months is going to look like that now let's not agonize too much uh, whether this is going to end up being a third wave or it's going to end up being an abc i suspect it's going to be a third wave okay the very strong deflationist would say that uh, this is probably an abc and the market will come crashing down i i i don't think it's likely i don't think it's likely i think it is uh in my opinion uh more likely that this is a one two and the build up that we have seen we have seen here the the breakout is going to down the road yes in a few months from now is going basically to terminate a third wave we'll have a fourth wave and on we go we march higher and higher uh, in gold and silver okay so far so very good um, let's have a look now at the daily and see later also the other details we have one two or one two we said we are not going to agonize on that too much we're just going to focus on that and so far it paid off and you can see we took this as one uh, this was nearing and i said to you as it was uh, uh resting here i said to you we are waiting we are resting everything still looks great as an abc and it exploded it is that's the 60 minutes and you don't always you don't always get such a perfect a perfect abc this is uh this is a confirmed ABC the way I see it. We came up with a 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 4, 5 complete. ABC came down, um, registered nice five legs from the top of the B and reversed unmistakably here in a very uh, strong impulse wave. Okay, now let's go and examine the 10 minutes scale of the third wave that is underway. And here's what I see. I think we had a one two right here that's a three that's a fourth wave what do you learn from that well if this reading is correct gold is going to continue to power ahead it might spend here maybe a few more hours if it's not ready immediately when it opens for trading next week but the idea is that uh, we don't want to see it breaking back under this low i would say 1305 okay 1306 it shouldn't really go under that that will uh, weaken slightly the um, the structure and i think if it breaks under uh, 1286 it might suggest that it's basically going back to 1250 and what we have seen here might be just part of the second wave meaning that my abc was not the entire correction okay i wouldn't rush to conclude that that is a false move and gold is going to collapse melt down and all this no 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 uh, gold will in my opinion uh, likely go to check 1250 but at this point in time i think all the odds are sitting uh, nicely with uh, with the bulls okay i i treat this as a as an okay one two three four my thinking is going there okay it's going there to 1360 and as i explained to you with our uh, development that i uh, drew here over the next several uh, months yeah that's a one two one two three four etc we just continue to power ahead here uh, step by step as we are coming out of our five year bottom in, uh, in gold it is that's the bottom we are climbing out of this um, gradually and you can see once we clear this uh, on the monthly uh, clear way we are running back towards 1550 okay and uh, we'll probably spend here quite a few months because if I'm right, and that's going to end up being three wave three, that will be a fourth wave getting stuck under the overhead resistance here. And when this is done, it's going to shoot back towards the previous high. Okay, this is uh, silver, and that's the weekly. Oddly enough, silver seems to have it more tough. Silver did break, didn't run out here, but um, 
the performance was much weaker than what we have seen in the case of uh, gold. But nevertheless, I still consider that silver is on its way to continue quite a bit higher. Um, I'll show you here the, the daily. That is taken as a firm 1, 2. We said this is likely a 1, 2. The correction was the correction was much um, um, was much stronger, if you like. The the bull, the the buying power here came to the rescue uh, much sooner than it did in gold. But the the odd thing is that when it broke out here, it didn't give us that uh, a nice breakout we have seen in gold. So it's a bit peculiar. Um, I said um, that I think it's a bit suspicious also um, because um, if it doesn't hold, if it doesn't sort of immediately follow through. We might be facing uh, this. I, I'm not suggesting this. Yeah, I'm suggesting this. That the, the second wave that I think ended here will actually end somewhere around here, meaning it will come back for retesting of this support at around uh, 17. Now let's go and see the 60 minutes. One, two, one, two, three, four, three, four, five. Fine, great. A, B, C. Fine. Okay. One, two, three, four. Fine, that looks on target. Uh, there's another thing here that is different from what we have seen in gold. Uh, although I am pretty comfortable with my one, two here on the 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes. I'm comfortable with my one, two, three, four. And that tells you that silver has no business coming back here under 17.55. Price in US dollar cash, spot, got no business going there then it's going to kill my wave count. Okay, it's suggesting then that it wants to go quite a bit lower. Um, this, if this is a fourth wave, that's where it's supposed to go. 18.3 and higher. But given that the jump here has been a lot smaller in, uh, in dimension than what we have seen in gold, uh, it is very likely that if we have the five legs nicely uh, structured here, Okay, it runs up exactly as I expect. We go to 18.4. Uh, it could be that all of this is just one. So you end up having one, two, okay, and then one, and then sideways price action for a day or two, and then take off. Continue to run. Continue to run higher. 